Okay, welcome to part two of how to draw a drain plan. Uh, what we have here on the screen right now is a copy of a drain plan, uh, beginnings of a drain plan. Uh, remember, just a drain plan is a plan that shows all the horizontal piping underground below the foundation of the particular building. So depending on the type of building and the way it looks, uh, the outline of the, the out line of the drawing will look a little bit different uh, but as you can see here we have a rectangle uh, structure so our, our building is going to be a rectangle the dark gray line that goes around all the way around the outside of the picture is the foundation wall the, the concrete walls of the structure the building the house whatever it may be around the outside outside of the gray line is a dashed line that goes around the outside of the building, all the way around the outside of the building. And it is the, going to be known as our foundation drain. If you've already went through the foundation drain section this week, uh, you'll, learn, you'll know a little bit more about it. If you haven't, you'll know more about it uh, after you go through the detail. Uh, in a nutshell, it's piping that goes around the building that collects drain uh, groundwater, should I say, and uh, gets rid of it from the foundation so as not to compromise the foundation. On our drain plan, you will notice a number of different circles uh, within the building. The ones that have the SS, those are representing our soil stacks. And the ones that have SW are representing our waste stacks. The other thing that you have in a circle, sort of in the not exactly in the middle of the rectangle, but in more inside the rectangle that is the FD. And the FD is representing our floor drain in the lower uh, basement or lower portion of the building, which this foundation, uh, sorry, this uh, drain plan is based upon. So the FD here refers to floor drain that would be uh, the fixture located in the lower part of the building and along with all the other uh, waste stacks or soil stacks coming down from above in the building. The other thing I wanted to point out to you on the right-hand side of the picture, you'll see the word storm with a dotted line below it, and then the uh, word sand with a solid line below it. Uh, the storm is referring to the, uh, the storm uh, drain, and then, of course, one meter off the building it would become the storm sewer. The solid line with the sand is referring to the sanitary uh, building drain, which of course one meter off the foundation on the outside, it would become known as the sanitary uh, building sewer. These are our two lines because this is where we're going to be hooking up everything inside the building to uh, when we start drawing. The other thing I wanted to point out to you on the picture, on the lower left hand corner, you'll notice that the dotted line, the foundation line outside the building, has a little dash, dash, dash that comes inside the rectangle. That is our foundation connection, which we do have to connect up to either the storm or the sanitary uh, as part of our drawing. Before we get started in our next video, I also like to point out one more detail. When we're doing our sanitary, our, sorry, our building uh, our drain plan, we the first thing we must do before we start anything of drawing, we must determine which of the stacks inside our building will become our what's known as our main stack. It will be from that stack that we will join all the way back to the sanitary line on the right hand side and that line horizontally on the ground from the main stack all the way out to the building. Uh, one meter off the building will be known as our building drain, sort of like a tree trunk. And then all our remaining stacks will connect into that line sort of like branches on a tree, okay? And they'll be known as our horizontal branches. Uh, so when we are selecting our main stack, we have to look at a bunch of different options. So our first choice is to look for a soil stack within the building. In this case, we have two. One at the bottom of the page, fairly close to the uh, where the sanitary leaves the building. Another one at the top of the page, almost the top left-hand corner, uh, which is much further away from the sanitary where it leaves the building. So if we do have a soil stack, which we do, we have two, 
then we must choose which one is going to be our main stack because our, our first choice of a main stack would be a soil stack. If we have more than one, our first choice will be our furthest soil stack, which in this case would be the top left-hand corner. So from there, when we get to the next video, we'll start drawing it. That's where our building drain will start at that soil stack and head out the building, connecting to the sanitary uh, building sewer, which is leaving the building. And we would connect all the other stuff in afterwards. If we do not have a soil stack in the building, our next choice will be a waste stack. And again, it would be the furthest waste stack. So if all these stacks inside the building were all waste stacks, our furthest one would be on the left-hand side all by itself. It's the furthest way from where the sanitary leaves the building. So that would become our main stack. Hence, our line being drawn from the waste stack all the way over to the sanitary. This would be considered our building drain. And therefore, all other stacks would be connected to it as branches like on a tree and would become a horizontal drainage piping.